We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Chicago White Sox and the Boston Red Sox. The Palehos enter today's matchup with an 11-game winning streak on the line. They'll try to notch their 12th straight next. Stepping into the box, Gerald Hayden. First shot for him here as he comes in currently leading the junior circuit in hitting. This season really shouldn't come as a surprise to many. We all know what kind of skill this guy produces when he has a bat in his hands. First delivery to him on the way. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Hayashi is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Ready now for the White Sox, Alaris Montero. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. The one two about left side. He's right there. Throw to first will be in time and there's one gone here to start the second. Coming to the plate now Darren Bullinger. He'll swing it from the left side right here. This is somewhat of a cause for concern. He needs to hit better left handed against right handed. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Well, you know, he had a good idea right there. The infield was playing back, but it's not going to work out for him this time. That's a nice play to react, and they take care of him at first. So striding forward third now, Gerald two. Hayden. He flew Gerald out in his last at-bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. Oh, on to first, but it's too late as the first base umpire says they just missed getting him at the bag. And he will add yet another game to his incredible hitting streak as it now reaches even further into the stratosphere. You know, d -Row, I don't know if this thing's ever going to end. This guy's been raking now for almost two months, and he's swinging the bat just as good now, now as when this streak started to start it off with his first base hit. Yeah, it, do it doesn't right. seem like he's coming out of it anytime soon. I wonder the pitcher that would create such a tough matchup for this guy to shut him down because he's playing with the big part of the field. He can beat you in so many different ways, and this number's getting just straight ridiculous. Reined in. Only play here will be to first, so with the runner moving on three and two, he stays out of a possible double play. Stepping in, Gerald Hayden, as the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. It really doesn't matter what side of the plate of this guy bats from. He hits very well. He hits right-handed pitching very well, swinging left-handed, and swinging from the right side against lefties. The number he takes it to the opposite field, high and deep to left. But it bangs off the out-of-town scoreboard. Uh, it's one of the beauties of playing in Fenway right there. Most places, that's a double or a home run. But at Fenway, you're coming out of the box thinking, can I make it to second? Because if it caroms and that left fielder fields it cleanly, you're dead to rights at second base. And that's a heck of a job to hold him in this thing. Here's the one and two delivery. Here's a weakly hit fly ball Let's off go, to the left scoring, side. Oh, and this deflects right off him. And the run's going to score as they inch back a he's bit closer. There. It's now a 5-2 ball game. And this will come in far too late. He's in there at third. Now, now batting, batting, Drew Mendoza. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Mendoza. And he misses with it for ball four. So the bases will be loaded now with two away. It was obvious when the count ran the 2-0 and that they were not going to give this guy anything to hit. Sometimes you have to pick your battles, and they're going to try their luck with the next hitter. Standing in with the bases loaded, now Todd Zinnegi. But a single here play. could reduce the Duh. deficit to only one. Zinnegi. A bouncer to the left side. Scooped up. Throw to first oh. in time, and the big inning is avoided as the side is retired. A run on two hits in the inning for Boston. 
seventh inning coming up. It's the White Sox five and the Red Sox two. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And standing in is the veteran third baseman, Gerald Hayden. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. High and deep to center field. And that one is gone! So it's a solo shot to dead center as they pull within one here. It's now a 5-4 game. Wow, that's a tough one. Certainly not the way you want to start your day as a relief pitcher giving up a home run. Striding in, like Gerald Hayden, as he's got two. a chance to tie this ball game Gerald. up with that equalizing Hayden. run just 90 feet away at third. Boy, this guy right here on that last AB, how about straightaway go. center hey, field? Right he hits here. a bomb, and as a pitcher, you're trying Bottom to pitch for the big part of the ballpark, but a guy oh, like this, ahead. if Come he on, has popped to hit it right out here. the center field, I might have to think pitching this guy down and away down on the corner. And with first base open, it looks as though they'll go after the next guy with the force at any base now in order and two men gone. And this is the right move here. With first base open, take the bat out of this guy's hands every single time. So a big spot here in stepping in, Jason Morant, as he's got a chance to be the hero. Tying run at third, winning run at second. Runners going. Skied in the air to straightaway left. And he'll make the catch here to end it, and the White Sox will add one more to their winning streak as this ball game is over. Excellent work putting the finishing touches on this one. Picking up save number 30 now on the year. Nice job from him. This evening's game comes to an end. 5-4 the final tally. Chicago took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Jesus Castillo earns his sixth winning decision in this one. Brady Singer was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. Jorge De Jesus wraps it up for the save, his 30th. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.